Hello everyone, welcome to Cherub Teaching Center. My name is Poonam and I'm a Google Certified Educator. Today I'm going to train you on a very interesting thing how you people can make your images more effective utilizing the platform which is Google Drawings. So that's what I'm going to train you today. So in order to access the Google Drawing, what exactly you people have to do is you people need to access Google Drawing. So there are multiple ways of accessing it. Either you people can go on to the search bar of Google and you people can type in docs.google.com forward slash drawings. That's one way. Or else you can type it in the search bar of Google, Google Drawings also. Then also you would be getting a, uh, the link on which you people can go ahead and use it. And Google Drawings can also be accessed through Google Drive also. So this is how the Google drawing looks like and today I'm going to tell you how you people can make your images more effective by utilizing one or two of the options that I'm going to use it right now and then depending upon your need you people can go ahead and go ahead and customize that. So let's start over. The moment you people are going to access the Google drawing first and foremost you need to give it a title. So let's say in case if I'm going to make an image today, I'm just going to give it a heading which is image. Okay. All right. So once it has been given, the first thing that I'm going to train you today is in regards to pictures. So what you people have to do is first and foremost, you people have to insert a picture over here. So how you people would be going about is you can see this insert image option. So what you people will be doing is you will go ahead, you can click on insert image drop down and I'm going to take my image through the web. So this is another good fact of our, all the Google application or the Google Docs that we people normally use it is there is a built in feature of search from web from where you people can access it. So I will click on search from web and what exactly I'm going to do is so I'll go over here, I'll click on search from web and let's say that the thing that I needed over here is wall map. Okay, I'm just say saying for the sake of an example because that's how I'm going to make my image today. And let's say that this is the image that I need to be inserted. So what I would do is I have to select on the image first of all that I'm trying to search it out. See, I am accessing it through the web. But you people can go ahead and you can insert the image from other options which is given over here is you can upload it from your own computer. Either you can uh, you know insert the image from the Google Drive or the photos or in case if you people have a link or a URL or in case if you have clicked it on your camera you can go about that also. So this one the current one that you people are seeing in front of you that is from the web. So this is the map that I have already selected people and then I have to click on this insert option which you might be able to see it right near to the bottom. So the moment you click on insert, that image would be inserted over here. So this is how the map has come up. Now what I need to do is I have to make this image more effective because that is what the heading or the title of today's tutorial is. So what exactly I need to do is let's say I want to, you know, put this map in such a manner that I'm going to showcase which exactly is the unique animal which is available in that part of the country. Okay, so I would be selecting one country and then you people can go about and select multiple others also or you can do anything with the image I'm just trying to show you over here. So let's say that is I have selected the country which is Australia and for Australia kangaroo is one of the unique animal. So again what I'm going to do is I would be going to the web and then after I have gone to the web I need to select kangaroo. So what I would be doing is I need to select kangaroo because I need to insert that image over here and so this is how I'm trying to find it out people okay all right so let's say that this is the kangaroo that I need to select so I would select the kangaroo as an option I will click on insert okay and now what exactly has happened is that my image has come up over here. So I need to crop and adjust this image first of all. Alright, let me make a little bit shorter. And then I have to take it over to this uh, part of the country. Okay, since we find kangaroos in Australia. So let's say, and I'm preparing this map, you know, for one of my practical assignments. 
so you people can use uh, this uh, Google drawings for multiple you know aspects you either you're preparing a project or an assignment and then you people are trying to that is you know you can utilize it over here you know once this Google drawing is ready another benefit is that you can insert this Google drawing in any of the Google Docs like Word or if I talk about Google Sheets you people can go about and insert the things over there also okay and so this is the kangaroo people which I've selected and I've put it over the country and now I would like to highlight because uh, my map in such a manner that I'm trying to put some you know a little bit of information over here how I can put the information is what I can do is I can go on to the shapes option and once I've been to the shapes option I would utilize um, you know this to be the call out okay let's say this is the thing that I'm using okay all right so people now what you people have to do is can you see this orange uh, circle that you people are seeing I would be taking this orange circle near to this kangaroo's mouth okay because I need to reflect in such a manner that this particular image is saying something so then once this thing is done uh, so you people can put in your information over here you people can load certain information over here So once you're loading this information, what exactly you have to do is you just have to go about and you can type in over here like I'm typing in, hi, I'm kangaroo or what I can say is, hi, I'm kangaroo and then, so what I can do is I can type in my text over here and once my text or the content is typed in I can go ahead and I can align it also people I will do it as a center align and in case uh, you know you would like to specify about that animal and you would like to load additional information what exactly I can do it is um, I can you know insert a link over here also let me just show you how you people can upload the link I can go over here and uh, I can type in kangaroo as an animal so let's say that this is the kangaroo okay and this is the wikipedia link so what exactly you people can do is in case if you want to link the additional information you can copy the url and then i can you know link this thing or this box with that option and for linking this is the thing people you can click over here link and then the remember we have uh, copied the link of the URL of the website that I would like to load in I can click on apply okay alright one minute so I can adjust my content okay alright so you can adjust your content over here right the link is also linked over here and the moment any person is going to click on that link that's automatically going to take that person to the page or the website where that person can go ahead and you know read additional information in regards to that animal so this ways people you can go about and you can make your images more effective okay so it's not about you know using this link it's about uh, that is putting making your images a little bit more live which we people were that is not able to do it before but now uh, I mean since the Google drawings is also in a uh, uh, one of the very good tool which was already available you people can use this Google tool that is to the fullest and you people can use this thing for loading additional information and you can make your images more live people so you can adjust your content you can adjust any of the things any image that you're going to trying to portray over here even if I talk about if I want to type in a text box over here what I can do is I can click on the T option which is the text box I can go ahead and then I can type in the name of the country which over here is uh, you know Australia and you can type in the content and in case if you want to do anything with the text you can change the text color also depending upon your need people and uh,
not only this thing you can make it more bold if you want to increase the font size that's totally in your hand and you can move around and you know you can uh, uh, make this font a little bit more interesting okay so this is how it's going to look like and then you can adjust this text box over here all right so this is how you people can go about it you can make your images uh, more effective you can uh, you know either insert an image on the top of it and then you can insert you know the the shapes also the shapes i will be taking out in a separate session where i would be training you in uh, you know designing the flow charts with the help of this google drawings as well but this is how you can make your ma image look more effective and you can you know format your image depending upon your need whatever you want to do it let's say that here i was only trying to you know portray the animals which is available in that part of the country the unique animals however in let's say that you are trying to you know while making in the project sometime you people are um, showcasing the population or the race or even if i talk about which industry is prevalent in which part of the country you can use this image very well and you can use in designing the images which is already available you people can load that image over here and then you can link additional information just for the sake of the project or the assignment whichever you people have been using and once this thing is uh, you know ready you people can save this google drawing which in case or which uh, later can be inserted into any of the google document okay so now you people can go ahead and practice on this tool and those viewers who are watching my channel for the first time and who have not subscribed to my channel yet i would request you to please quickly go ahead subscribe to cherub teaching center there are more things which are coming up your way in case of any doubts or queries you can always reach me on any of the three social links which is there available in front of you and the uh, the complete description of these links is given in the description of this video you can reach me on my instagram id which is cherub.teaching.center you can also reach me on my facebook id which is cherub teaching center or microsoft teams which is cherubians so please go ahead start using google drawings for making your images more live more effective thank you very much people have a nice day ahead